Hello, and welcome to our enterprise plan walkthrough. This tutorial is for users who have just purchased an enterprise plan with Snapic and want a step-by-step -step guide on how to set everything up. In this tutorial, we will be going through how to set up your first enterprise event and how to download the Snapic app onto an iOS device. Snapic's enterprise plan is our most popular package. This feature-rich plan will help you unlock the full power of the Snapic app. This plan is perfect for event professionals who want to take their photo booth businesses to the next level. With Enterprise, you will have access to the majority of Snapix features. In addition to all of the features of the Pro plan, the Enterprise plan also includes Ava and Face Match, Custom Surveys, Event Analytics, Custom Email Templates, custom microsites, animated overlays, Dropbox, competition, slideshow 2.0, green screen, white label, password protected galleries, and remote access. The enterprise plan also includes our extremely powerful video effects builder. So if you want to run a successful 360 booth or create amazing video activations, then this is the plan for you. We will now create our first enterprise event with Snapic. Once you have created your account and you're logged into your dashboard, you should see a Create Event button in the top right corner. Let's click this now. You should now see the option to select a preset event template or create an event from scratch. Event templates are preset themed events. This is a quick and easy way to set up an event. Simply select and edit a template to suit your needs. To find out more info on event templates, chat to our support team or check out the article that will be linked in the caption below. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be creating an event from scratch. So select new plain event. You will see two options, Pro and Enterprise. If you are interested in signing up for a monthly or annual package at this point, you can do so by selecting the option here below and proceeding with your purchase. Select Enterprise to continue. Once you choose the Enterprise option, you will see the Select Features page. This is where you can select your experiences that will be available to your guests when using the photo booth. You will see three options available on Enterprise. Photo, GIF, and Video FX. We will select all three so you can see the setup process for all the experiences. Please note, if you want to run a 360 booth or offer testimonials at your event, then ensure you select Video FX. Under our add-on section here, you have the option to enable green screen for your event. This is included in the Enterprise package. Next up, we need to select the Photo Booth License options. A Photo Booth license allows you to run your event on one specified iOS device at a time. All our packages come with one free photo booth license. If you are setting up for a large event that would require you to provide two photo booths, or if you have two separate events happening at the same time, you would need to purchase an additional photo booth license. 
An enterprise event already includes one photo booth license. However, if you would like to purchase additional photo booth licenses, you can click here to add additional licenses you require. Each enterprise event also comes with one sharing station license. But if you would like to add more, you can here as well. A great feature which is available as an add-on with enterprise events is white label. This is an additional charge, but definitely worth it if you would like to make sure all photo and microsite links only show your company name in the URL. White label ensures that Snapic is not displayed at all in the URLs and emails. Now let's proceed by clicking next. Here you will fill in all your event details, starting with your event name. You can also add additional text, which will be shown on the iPad event banner under the event name. Choose the start date and time of the event, as well as the end date and time of your event. A single event can only be set up for 48 hours unless extended at an additional cost. Lastly, you will need to select the correct time zone based on your event's location. Once done, click on the Next button to proceed. Under the Event Options section, you will be able to choose the functionality that you would like to have available at your event. We will select all the options except social media and QR interaction. For more information on these two features, please visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team who are available 24-7. You can always edit your event and enable or disable any options even after you have finished creating your event. If you want to adjust the time of the camera countdown, add your own custom disclaimer, customize the start activity and start camera text, enable a session timeout or enable camera auto start, then you can do so by going to the advanced button on the right corner here. If you would like to automatically have all guest data anonymized or cleared throughout the event, then you can tick the privacy option here. This is helpful for those clients that request it. But please note, if you would like to capture guest data at your event, then do not tick this option. Leave this unticked so you can gather guest information such as phone numbers and emails from your event. Now you can create a four digit admin password so that your guests cannot exit the event when using the photo booth. Let's move on to the next step. Under printing, you will be able to set up your print options such as limit the number of prints per guest, enable auto print, or limit the total number of prints for your event. We do have a number of extensive guides and articles on the different printing setups, which can be found in the Help Center under our Resources tab. Once again, if you have any questions about setting up your printer, then you can reach out to our support team who are available 24-7. Now let's set up the email template for your event. Start by choosing a template from the template library that best suits your event's needs. Play around with the template to make it fit with your event look and feel. Change the images, edit the text and add some links. Once you're happy with your design, then you can save the template to use for future events by ticking this box. Now click done. Now fill in the rest of the required fields for your email settings, such as from name, adding a reply to email, and adding the subject line. You can also choose if you would like the email to include a link to the guest session on the microsite or direct them to their image on Facebook. We would recommend choosing a microsite link as then your guest can be directed to a fully branded gallery to view their photos and videos. We also recommend ticking attach file 
so that the actual file is added as an attachment to the email. Lastly, you can enter email suffix autocomplete options for faster email entry. This can be all of your most commonly used email suffixes in your country. Let's move on to text messages. Start by customizing the body of the text message and then select your country code depending on where your event is taking place. Please note, in order to get the highest possible rates of delivery for your text messages, please make sure you review the do's and don'ts at the bottom of the page. Now, let's set up the photo templates. If you would like to create your own custom template, then you can do so by clicking here. For more information on this, please see our Frame Layout Creator tutorial video. Start by choosing a template from our templates library. Once you have chosen a template, you can choose to add your own pre-designed single or animated overlay to it. You can edit your template by clicking this button. Please see our template editor tutorial, which will go into more detail on how you edit templates. To ensure your photo overlay is shown when your guests are taking photos on the device, tick Show Overlay Preview. You can also choose to save the individual files without branding by choosing Processed or Unprocessed from the drop-down next to Save Individual Photos. You can upload a pre-designed template overlay by clicking this button. Please ensure your design is the correct dimensions to match your chosen template. You can add as many templates as you would like. We will save this and proceed to the next step. The app experience page here allows you to customize the look and feel of the photo booth. Here you can choose the background image or video to be displayed on the photo booth and the sharing station. We call this the attract screen. You can select from a number of attract screens that we have already uploaded for you to use by clicking on attract screen library. You can also upload a video which will play as an animated background by clicking here. Or you can upload your, your own still background image by clicking here. Furthermore, you can upload a master overlay, which is an image that will show over your attract screen. If you would like to use your own customized experience buttons, then you can do so by clicking here and uploading your pre-designed buttons. If you would like to change the preview image that is displayed to your guests in the app when they choose their overlay, then you can do so by selecting from the drop-down next to Preview Images. Here you will see different options depending on what stock images you have uploaded. For a detailed guide on how to upload your own custom stock images, please follow the link added to the description below. You can also choose if you would like to hide the retake button, exit button or title banner so that is not shown on the iPad. If you have a sharing station, you can repeat this process to customize the attract screen for the sharing station by clicking on the sharing station tab. Microsites are a great tool to use for added branding and sharing post event. The fully customizable gallery is also a wonderful keepsake for all guests. There are a number of settings you can configure for your microsite starting with what sharing options you would like to offer the guests when they view their photo or video on the online gallery. We recommend ticking face match as that allows your guests to find all their sessions seamlessly without having to scroll through all the event photos. If you need to restrict guests from viewing other guests images on the gallery, you can do so by ticking gallery button under the hide option. 
Snapback also offers a virtual booth option which allows you to essentially set up a photo booth for guests to use from anywhere in the world. If you would like more information on the virtual booth, then you can visit our help center. Now we can go ahead and choose a microsite template to use for our event from the library. You will see a range of templates you can use under standard templates. But in the future, if you have already customized one of the templates and would like to use that one again for other events, then you can access it from the My Templates tab. Just save the template once you are done editing it. We will show you how in a few moments. For now, we will choose one of the standard microsite templates. You can change the main logo on the template to your own logo by clicking it and replacing it here. Now you can go ahead and edit the template based on your event requirements. So you can change the logo, the background, edit the text and add a link to your website and more. After you have customized your microsite template, you can save the template layout for future use. Just click Save Template. To reset the microsite to its original state, simply click the Reset button at the top. If you would like to capture more information from each guest or add a consent option for privacy purposes, you can do so by adding a survey to your event. Our survey offers many different fields, so the type of data you can capture is endless. First, we can start by giving our survey a title and providing a brief description. Now let's set up our survey by going to the Survey Builder. The Survey Builder is easy to use. Just drag and drop the type of field you would like to use. For example, if you would like guests to rate the photo booth experience, then add a rating field. Or if you would like to gather consent from each guest to use their images for contacting them after the event, then you can add a checkbox. Once you are happy with your survey questions, then you can click Done. Now you can upload a report cover that will be displayed with the survey data responses in a document once the event has ended. You will be able to download this data from the Analytics tab on your event. If your survey is compulsory, then you can just tick Required and guests will need to fill out the survey in order to proceed to the next step. Now for our competition feature. This is a great way to create additional hype around your photo booth and ensure customer engagement. Snapback offers two competition options, spin to win and scratch to win. Please note, you can only choose spin or scratch. You cannot have both options at the same time. The competition feature is based on the user sharing their photo, GIF or video. The user will need to share their photo, GIF or video via email or text message from the iPad in order for the competition option to pop up on the iPad. You will be required to upload your competition graphics for each section of the competition. For the purpose of this demo, we won't go through each step for the competition feature but we do have an in-depth video which will take you through the steps to set up your competition. Here you can choose which digital props you would like displayed to your guests for them to choose when they take their photo. We have a wide variety to choose from, but if you would like something more specific, then you can upload your own digital props. You can do this by clicking Manage Props and uploading your own pre-designed prop or manage the ones that you have already uploaded. Next, you will be able to select the filters for your event. We have two sections, preset filters and guest filters. 
Preset filters are filters that are automatically applied once the picture has been captured. If you wish to have the guest choose their own filter, then use the guest filter option below. Snapic allows you to sync your event directly to your Dropbox account so you can upload all images instantly to a folder on your Dropbox account. Click on the link button and link your desired Dropbox account. You will then be redirected to the Dropbox sign in page to complete the process. Please note, if you want the raw files to upload to Dropbox as well, then you need to ensure you have chosen save individual photos on each template you have uploaded. Click next to continue. Now we can move on to choosing the templates for GIF. You can choose standard template from the template library or you can create your own custom GIF template. Now specify the GIF settings according to your preference. If you click Enable Burst, it will allow your guests to capture burst experiences, also known as boomerangs. The next step will allow you to upload an overlay for your burst templates. By selecting Disable GIF Printing, your guests will not be able to print stills of the GIFs that they have taken. Click next to continue. Now let's choose what video templates we would like to use at our event. We offer a wide variety of templates, so you can choose a template that specifically caters to your event's needs. For example, for a 360 booth, or for a wedding testimonial, or choose one geared to music festivals. The options are endless. If you are feeling a bit creative, then you can even create your own video template. Please check out the detailed tutorials we have on our help center that will walk you through all the video settings. Your enterprise event is now set up. You will have the option to either pay later or purchase event. You can test out your event directly on your iPad or iPhone before paying for the event. But please ensure you do pay for the event and refresh the app on your device before using the setup at your live event. After you have finished setting up your event, you will need to download the Snapic app onto the iOS device you will be using at your event. Snapic is compatible with most iPad and iPhone models. However, we do recommend using the latest devices for the best image quality. We also have direct DSLR integration, but you will still need to connect your DSLR to an iOS device. Firstly, you will need to go to the App Store on the device you will be using at your event. Then you will need to type in Snapic Booth in the search bar. Download the app. You will then need to sign in using the same credentials you used to register your Snapic account previously. Once you have logged in, your event will show up on the app. Click on the event. Here you can see an overview of your event as well as the status of your media in queue management. In this configuration section, you will be able to toggle what features you want at your event. You can also select the accessories that you want to connect with for your event, such as a 360 booth by clicking here. Here you can preview your competition artwork to confirm it all looks good. Configure camera is where you would select what camera on your iOS device you want to use to record your photos, GIFs, boomerangs, and videos taken at your booth. If you are using a DSLR, 
the selection for that will also appear here. Configure printer is where you would select your printer if you have enabled printing at your event. Finally, at the bottom, we have the option to start the sharing booth. You would only click this option if this device is going to be used as a sharing station. However, we are using this device for our main photo booth, so we will click Start Photo Booth. You are taken to a screen where you can adjust your camera settings. There are a number of things you can change, such as exposure, focus, and white balance. You can adjust your camera settings here. Or you can do it during the live preview by swiping up with three fingers. That will bring up the same menu. Click Start Booth. You are then taken to the Attract screen. Now you are ready to test the event. You can choose one of the experience options and take a few snaps. We hope that this has been a helpful guide on how to set up your enterprise event. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team who are available 24-7 and always happy to assist.